Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to see how to install the Raspberry Pi OS on your Raspberry Pi. So the things you are going to need are the Raspberry Pi. So I have this Raspberry Pi 4 which I have added in a case. Then you will need a suitable power supply for your Raspberry Pi. So I have this official Raspberry Pi power supply. Then you will need a micro SD card with the micro SD card reader. I recommend you to use the 32 GB micro SD card because it comes with the FAT32 foil format. If you want to use 64 GB or larger SD card, you need to format it to FAT32 forcefully. And then of course you will need a monitor, a keyboard and a mouse to set up the Raspberry Pi for the first time. So without making a more delay, let's get started. To start installing the Raspberry Pi image on our micro SD card, we will need to install the Raspberry Pi imager. We will install it from the terminal. First type the command sudo pt update and enter your password. We will install the Raspberry Pi imager from the snap store. So type the command snap install rpi imager. Click on enter. Type your password. Click enter. Now the Raspberry Pi imager is successfully installed. Close the terminal. Now go to activities. And here you can see the imager is installed. Click on it to open the imager. Now connect your micro SD card to your computer or your laptop. Now click on choose OS. Here various options are available to be installed. Here is the Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit. But this don't have any recommended softwares installed on it. So to install the full OS, click on the Raspberry Pi OS other. And here you will find the Raspberry Pi OS full. I will select this, then click on storage and select choose storage. Select the micro SD card that we have recently connected. Then click on the setting button. So here is the options to pre-configure your Raspberry Pi OS installation. First I will set the host name, I will keep it as it is like Raspberry Pi. Then I will go to set username and password, I will select it. I will keep the username as pi and I will enter the password. Then I will click on configure wireless LAN. I will enter the SSID and the password. Enter your Wi-Fi SSID and the Wi-Fi password here. Then scroll down. Select the wireless LAN country. Select the set local setting. Select the time zone and the keyboard layout and click on save. Then click on write. Click yes. Enter your Ubuntu password and wait for the installation to get completed. The installation is now completed and it is starting to verify the installation. So let the verification process get completed. The verification process is now successfully completed and now it will finalize the installation. So as you can see our installation is successful. I will click on continue. Close the Raspberry Pi imager. Here you can see it is showing the SD card as boot FS. Now we are ready to plug it into Raspberry Pi. Now take your Raspberry Pi and the bootable micro SD card that we have recently created. Then Insert it into the micro SD slot of your Raspberry Pi. Make sure the SD card is properly installed. Then connect the USB Type-C power cable, micro HDMI cable, the keyboard and mouse. Now turn on the power of your Raspberry Pi. 
and wait for the boot screen to appear. It will take some time to start the Raspberry Pi because we are booting for the first time. We have successfully logged in to our Raspberry Pi. Let's connect to the Wi Fi. Now we have connected to the Wi Fi successfully. Let's check the Start Pino. Here you can see we have the programming softwares already installed. As we have booted for the first time, let's update our Raspberry Pi. So open the terminal and type the command sudo apt get update press enter Now enter the command sudo apt get upgrade Enter y and press enter It will take some time to upgrade the system So let the system get updated. So this was the complete process of installing the Raspberry Pi OS on your Raspberry Pi. Now you can start exploring the Raspberry Pi environment and build your awesome projects. Thank you for watching the video. Do subscribe the channel if you like the video. Thank you.